Good morning, good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm going to speak on this topic that nobody really wants to talk about or nobody really cares to, to view. I mean, it's it's proof just based on the amount of views. <clears throat> but I'm going to keep talking about it because it, it's a topic that's not going to go away and it's probably going to affect uh, someone in, in your family at some point in time. <clears throat> and I'm, You guys probably figured out I'm talking about dementia. So... Uh, the last couple of days, I've been trying to uh, be more hands-on, trying to assist my mother uh, with her many issues. Um, she's she ran out of checks, and it's just like just she's usually very organized, and for the most part, she she is still somewhat organized, but she's paid some bills like two or three times the same bill. And um, <clears throat> I'm in the process of trying to take over all, all control of her, her responsibility. You know, you call that power of attorney, if you will. Um, my mom had always told me in her closet, there was a filing cabinet, like a filing box with all her documents, everything in there. <clears throat> She would never really talk about it. Late, lately, I've kind of forced the issue, and she's, she's been okay with it. But um, I had a feeling I was not the power of attorney because I'm, I had a feeling if I had been delegated the power of attorney, I probably would have been notified. I don't know how that works. But um, after reviewing the documents yesterday and today, I was able to determine I was the uh, – the backup power of attorney. My older brother is the has been delegated the power of attorney. <clears throat> well, he's two hours away, and he's he's uh, basically worthless to this current situation because I check on her pretty much daily. I'm taking her to you know appointments or to the grocery store, or I shop for her at the grocery store, and he he's really of no assistance from two hours away. So um, I was able to uh, find out all the information, contacted the, the, uh, the law firm, which is not too far from my mom's house. Uh, we have an appointment on Thursday to um, possibly change that. <clears throat> it may not be changed because of her mental uh, capacity. I, I don't know, but it, it pretty much needs to be done for the proper things to be done for her. So I'm not sure how that's going to work on Thursday morning at 10 a.m., but uh, going through that, I, I went through her entire box. Um, I call it the death box. Uh, I will say she is very organized. She has stuff from when she was married to my dad, like, what am I, 60? They've been divorced for over 50 years, and she still had stuff of his. But... Uh, so in that regard, she's pretty organized. She has a lot of stuff she doesn't need. But I was able, you know, it's all like uh, the, those file folder type things. So they're not really labeled, but they're easy to get to, easy to ascertain what they are. Um, and I, I know I've been to her house a few times where she's on the phone for lengthy times, periods of time with Medicare or Medicaid, whatever you call that. And... Um, my mom's had the same primary care physician for, I, I don't know, I want to say 25, 30 years or whatever, however long she's been here. She really loves the doctor. Well, somehow she got switched from a PPO to an HMO. I think Medicare kind of forced the situation. I, I you know, uh, she doesn't remember why that happened. Uh, that's the only thing I can ascertain. Um, so that's, that's been a problem. You know, the, the doctor still wants to treat my mom and everything, but her, her current insurance does not cover that. So um, that's going to be the next thing we're kind of working on. And uh, just, you know, I talked to uh, one of my mom's uh, neighbor friends who lives up the street for like about five, six houses up. Real nice lady, always tries to look out for my mom and stuff like that. And we had a long talk about some of the problems, you know, with the luggage 
thing and uh, her paying bills two or three times. So, um, so she, she's, she's been trying to be helpful. Uh, it's, she, my mom does have a lot of people that care for her, which is nice. Um, sorry, that's the mail truck going by again. It seems every time I sit out in the courtyard, somebody's coming by a trash truck, mail truck, whatever. But, uh, so my mom's definitely, you tell us she's getting very weak, very frustrated. She, she definitely wants me to help her out. I'm not trying to, uh, do a power kick, taking something from my brother or whatever. But the reality is he, he's not going to be much assistance on the day to day, daily basis. So my mother's going to need, um, she needs new checks until I'm not going to have that done right now. There's uh, something called uh, power of death. My brother's uh, power in case of death. I think is what it stands for POD. <clears throat> so my mom's name's on her checks, my brother and my name. And um, we basically are not on the account just in the event of death. And we can start executing any type of transactions. <clears throat> so if, if, if the power of attorney thing comes to be, hopefully by the end of this week, then I, you know, I'm sure I'll get a document. I can take that to the bank. Then we can order new checks and then I can start paying her bills for her. Um, I don't know if I told you in a previous episode, but uh, there's this thing called car shield. It's like an extended warranty thing. My mom legally is not allowed to drive anymore. Her car stays in the, in the, the garage I, occasionally. I don't think she's done it in a long time. She understands the magnitude now, but uh, she would still drive illegally, local trips to the Walgreens or Publix or whatever. But the only reason I keep that vehicle is um, so I can take her to appointments because there's no way she's going to get into my van as frail as she is. So um, there was a point there I was trying to make. Oh, the car shield. So um, I, I, a while back I had talked to her and said, um, you know, what are you, what are you doing? She goes, oh, I just got done paying the, uh, the, the car insurance or something like that. And I'd already known that had just been paid. And I said, what, what car insurance? And she said, uh, car shield. So I, that's, I think I did tell you guys this, but I had her hang up, call her bank, cancel that transaction. <clears throat> it was one of these extended warranties. They're like, she's not, we're not going to put a hundred miles on this vehicle the rest of her life. So, uh, I told her, no, you got to cancel that. That's so those are the things that she, she, her mental aptitude is, is not the greatest right now. She's, I don't want her to be getting talked into <clears throat> paying money to people in some type of phone scam or something like that. So I, I pretty much want to take over all her finances, uh, just to, to keep her from being scammed. But anyway, so uh, I didn't do a video yesterday. Uh, I'm hoping my buddy Cody, Hog Deer 79, is feeling better today. And I know he's a little bit under the weather. And uh, everybody seems lately be under the weather. But keep plugging away, people. This is America. we got to make it great again.